and welcome today. It's the championship race weekend at Blue Moon Base Speedway for the Grand Turismo Online Touring Series. Single car qualifying has wrapped up the grid is set for the five lap heat race that will set the starting lineup for the, the 40 lap championship finale. It has been a great season so far, so let's put a great end to it with these two championship races. Let's go down to your grid walk. So, single car qualifying, set the lineup for this race, and, who, and your finishing order in this race will determine where you start during the championship main event. So, let's get down to the Mets painting grit walk, and let's get to some exciting action in the shortest non-paying points race of the season. Trevor Levine, he currently sits third place in points. He has three wins this season, which is tied with Donnie Wu for the most wins of the season. He's racing for the Rookie of the Year award against Donnie Wu. And he is qualified on the pole. He was really fast during single car qualifying, out-qualified Javen Tucker by about a tenth. Has a fast car today, hoping to avoid the chaos, which this heat race is bound to be chaotic. A lot of bump drafting and pack racing. Trevor Levine hopes that he can survive the chaos and pick up the win to set himself on the pole for the main event. Rolling off P2 is Javen Tucker. Javen Tucker is really fast during qualifying that number 99, McLaren. He's hoping to have some speed here during the heat race. He's not as worried about the heat race as he is about the main event. And since Rashad Metz has clinched the play or the, clinched the championship, he does not. He said he's going all out. He doesn't have to worry about crushing anyone's championship hopes. So he just hopes for a good run today. Rolling off P3 is Miles Johnson in the Brown Motorworks 06 car. Miles Johnson was really fast in that Mustang during qualifying. Plays put it in third spot. He's really good at this track. He's most likely one of the best oval races out of this group. Last season in the weekly series, which was all at an oval of Blue Moon, or I'm uh, sorry, it, Northern Isle, which he is the Northern Isle track champion last season. He did not finish out of the podium for all 10 races. His first finish, or his worst finish, was third. He either won or finished second nine out of the 10 races. So he is a really good oval racer. He knows that this is his final chance to get a win of the season. He's hoping for a really good race today. Hopefully he can get the pole here. So good luck to him. Rolling off P4 is the Gran Turismo Online Touring Series Season 1 Champion. That's right, Rashad Metz has clinched the championship since Donnie Wu was unable to make it. So that soon-to-be champ written on his front bumper is now, he is now a current champion. Him and Miles Johnson are their current champions. What a gr great season that Rashad Metz has had, picking up two wins. He's finished on the podium almost every single race. He's just been so consistent, which has gotten him that points lead. So good luck to him. He said he's got a really fast Corvette here today. Hopefully he can run up front. He said he's going to be kind of conservative and see if he can run during the back during the main event. But let's see how he does today. Rolling off P4, Jalen Connor. We have not seen Jalen Connor since um, the second race of the season, I think. It's been a long time. But he's back today, and he's really fast at this track. Look for him to be running up front. A lot of drivers complained about his, his aggressiveness throughout the season. So we will see how that aggressiveness plays off throughout the race. He said he's hoping to gain some experience here today. Does not have that much experience. So let's see how he will be able to do during the five-lap heat race. Rolling off P6 is Shoe, or Michael Shoemaker. Michael Shoemaker making his third start. He hasn't raced with this since Circa de la Sarth. He had a really good race there, actually. No, he raced with this at the Nuremberg or Nuremberg one lap shootout. So he is hoping to come back, and he has I think he has a really good chance here today. So good luck to him. And rolling off last but not least is Jalen Bird. Jalen Bird, I'm. This, this is his first start of the this season in that Ghostbusters, um, Aston Martin. He said he's got a pretty fast car here today. Hopefully he can learn a lot since he hasn't been on or racing with us in a while. So let's see how that plays out with all of us. So seven cars are ready to get this race going. A five-lap race to determine your starting lineup for 
the f the championship race here at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. This is bound to be an exciting race. We have seen exciting races here all the time, and we are so glad we have saved the best for last. And they are getting ready to get it going. And the lights are off. The heat race for the championship weekend is underway at Blue Moon Bay. Oh, some heavy contact already on the restart. Miles Johnson giving a good shove to Trevor Levine down on the bottom. Two wide, almost three wide there for a moment. Javen Tucker on the outside. Miles Johnson trying to gain ground on the inside. Doesn't have much help. So that's going to open the door for Rashad Mess to almost go to the outside. Javen Tucker able to clear him, or Miles Johnson made an aggressive move down to the bottom, wasn't able to get to his quarter panel. Pushing and shoving a big pack forming already. This is going to be the story of the race all day today. Pack racing up front. Three wide almost for the lead. Miles Johnson now giving a push now, tandem drafting. To Rashad Metz working together. Outside lane has more cars than the inside lane. So they're going to get a little bit of a nudge going to turn one. Three wide, Jalen Connor slides up the track, causing some contact there. We're already pretty much halfway through this race. This will, this will set the starting line up. Miles Johnson is your new leader, and it's been a while since we've seen him lead a race since Monza. So he has now brought that Brad Motorworks car back out front. And here goes Jalen Connor to the inside. Miles Johnson using that high lane to get a good run onto the final straight. Lots of contact created by Jalen Connor there. Jalen Connor sent a really deep, really aggressive move. Three wide for the lead almost there. Who will try to pull out of line first? It's going to be Javen Tucker down in the turn one. But here comes Jalen Bird. Oh, he sends Javen Tucker into the wall. Lots of contact. Almost a wreck there. Here they go. Miles Johnson now out to about a two-car length lead, but here goes Javen Tucker closing in fast. He looks to the outside. Will he be able to clear him? Not yet. He's still there. A lot of contact between the two. Javen Tucker rockets to the lead out of turn two. Here they come off the final turn to get the two to go. This very short lap, this very short race, who is going to win the heat race? And Javen, or actually Jalen Connor is your new leader. He's out front getting some help from Miles Johnson. Miles Johnson looks to the inside. Jalen Burke creates a lot of contact back there. Slides up into Rashad Metz. Miles Johnson blocking for the oh Jalen Connor trying to clear, shopping the nose off of Javen Tucker. Some very aggressive driving, almost wrecking himself. What an you can see the aggressiveness already in these drivers, and it's only the heat race. Here they go, coming off the final turn to take the white flag. Who's it going to be side by side almost for the lead there? Miles Johnson now out front getting a good push. Here goes Rashad Metz. Everybody's back into the pitcher. It's still anyone's race. Here goes the pack in the turn one. Miles Johnson still has a slight advantage it's off of the high lane. Will he be able to get that 0-6 in the victory lane for the first time this season? Of course, it's a non-points non paying race, but a win is a win. Here they go in the turn, the final turn. Trevor Levine out front being pushed by Rashad Metz. Who's going to make the move? Javen Tucker puts Rashad Metz into the wall. Here comes Miles Johnson with a good run back in the pack, trying to break the trap. And Miles Johnson going to win the heat race. What a race.